Can a brake barrel air rifle break the sound barrier? That's what we're going to find out. Almost every brake barrel air rifle available claims to shoot past the speed of sound. That is faster than 1,080 feet per second. Well, we're going to see how true that is. I've got two rifles with me. The first of which is a cheapo Crosman F4. I bought this off their website for $54, and that included the scope. Now, it is a nitro piston. It's chambered in .177 caliber. Now, they do make the caveat that to shoot that fast would require alloy pellets, but the idea of a, a nitro piston brake barrel air rifle shooting faster than 1080 feet per second would be quite a feat to see. But the other one, isn't so cheap. The other one we're going to test is this. This is the Gamo Swarm Magnum. It claims to be the most powerful .22 caliber air rifle in existence. And, well, it's a lot harder to cock, so it should have considerably more power. But most .22 caliber air rifles aren't claiming they can break the sound barrier. But this one is. Let's see if it can do it. Okay, first up, the $54 Crosman F4. To get a baseline, we're going to shoot these 0.177, 10.5 grain domed pellets. To break the sound barrier, that requires about 26 to 27 foot-pounds of energy. Is this going to do it? I'm going to say probably not. Seven hundred forty-one. That's like 13, 13 and a half foot pounds, about. So uh, if it takes twenty-six to break the sound barrier, this is about half of that. Let's try it again. Just see. Seven hundred fifty-three. I think it's safe to say, with those pellets, ten point five green. You're not breaking the sound barrier. Let's try something lighter. Let's go. Let's move over to these. These are the uh, uh, JSB Simply Pellets. They're 8.3 grain. Uh, I imagine this is going to shoot a little bit faster. Uh, I'm not going to say how much, but I'm guessing because they're a little lighter, they'll shoot a little faster. 862. Okay, uh, it's about 14 foot-pounds of energy, so a little bit more energy in the lighter pellet, which honestly surprised me a bit. I figured it'd be about the same, but okay, let's see. 873 on the second shot, so yeah, that's 14 or so foot-pounds of energy, thereabouts. Um, okay, let's try something lighter. 5.3 grains. So they're a little lighter, actually significantly lighter. Um, these are a pointed pellet, but these are alloy pellets, and that's what uh, Crosman claims you need to uh, hit that 1,200 feet per second. Although, wow, that's tight. Holy smokes, is that tight. Hope it comes out of the gun. All right, let's see. 1114 These are the Daisy lead-free pellets. They weigh in at 4.91 grains, so they're even lighter. So they should go even faster. 
932. Slower. Let's try it again. That, maybe something was wrong with that pellet. Let's try it again. After all, the previous pellets were, were a little bit heavier than this, and they broke the sound barrier. Uh, that one didn't. No reading, but I didn't hear the crack. Let's try it one more time. I didn't hear the supersonic crack, but I also got no reading, so I can't confirm. Let's try it again. Hmm, still not reading. Let's uh, maybe give my chronograph a little more, uh, give my chrono a little more sunlight. Maybe I'll get a better reading that way. It is getting a little bit, a little bit shaded. Right, let's try it again. There we go. 949. Huh. Makes no sense. Why is a lighter pellet... Why is a lighter pellet slower? I think I have an idea. Those Platinums actually fit really, really tight. Let me, let me try Platinum one more time just to verify. Let's try this again. Alright, let's try the Platinums one more time. Because I did change the angle of that chronograph too. Let's try it again. Ten ninety-nine. Barely broke the sound barrier, broke it. The only real difference I can see between these two pellets is that the the Gamo Platinum seem to be a little bit tighter. Um, in the barrel. I have an idea. Okay, so I have an idea, and this probably isn't going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. I think what's happening is that with the with the lighter pellets, the, the pellet is, is moving down the barrel before the piston has come to the end of its stroke. So I think it's got a little bit less pressure behind it. The reason I think that is, is the uh, Game of Platinum's fit tighter. Like, I, I noticed they were tighter. So my thought is maybe if I flare out the back of the pellet a little bit, um, so it fits tighter, or at least starts its motion down the barrel a little bit later, maybe I can get it to go a little bit faster and actually break the sound barrier. So uh, I'm gonna use this uh, 25 caliber pellet kind of as my die. Again, this, this may not work. I'm just going to try to to put that on the back of the skirt, flare it out a little bit to make it fit the uh, rifling just a little bit tighter. Again, this probably probably isn't going to work. Okay, let's see how that worked. Probably didn't. See what our velocity is. All right. And I definitely deformed the skirt a little bit on that. Feels a little tighter. Okay. Let's see. That broke the sound barrier. Eleven fourteen. There we go. That's thirteen foot pounds of energy. And it broke the sound barrier. Let's see if we can do it again. That could be a fluke. That's pretty close. The last time it was 950. We gained a... Gained a, what about, 160, 170 feet per second, like, flaring that? So, um... Ooh, that one's real tight. I mean, real tight. I'm gonna hit that one a little harder than I wanted to. Let's see. Eleven ten. Okay, I gotta try the third one. Oh, that one also fits tight. This might do it too. I think this is gonna break it too.
1131. That's that's right right above 13 foot pounds of energy. So can a $50 brake barrel air rifle uh, break the sound barrier? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the 22. Okay, so this is the Gamo Swarm Magnum, and this is uh, chambered in 22. So not many of the 22 caliber brake barrels do claim to be able to break the sound barrier, but this one does. And the nice thing is this one has a magazine. And I already reloaded this magazine up uh, with a couple of different rounds. The first three I'm going to shoot are the uh, JSB Diabolo Heavies. Uh, these ones are 22 caliber, 18.13 grains. Um, I have my serious doubts that these things are going to break the sound barrier. Uh, that would be uh, somewhere upwards of 30 foot-pounds of energy. Um, the second three we're going to shoot are these Crosman Domed Ultra. These are 14.3 grains. Um, to break the sound barrier, uh, again, we're you're up pretty high in the in the energy. Um, yeah, that as hard as this is to cock, I'm going to say probably won't, but probably will get close. And the last are these these Gamo Platinums. Um, they did break the sound barrier in 177. Uh, I want to say they're about eight and a half or nine grains. I, there aren't any markings on it, but they do feel a little lighter and they are uh, lead free. So uh, if anyone's going to break the sound barrier, it's going to be this one. So uh, let's see. All right, first shot, 18 grain. 807. That's pretty good for an 18 grain pellet. Man, is that powerful? Ugh. Yeah, this thing is really hard to cock. Eight thirteen. Wow, for an 18. Dang, even my piece. Most of my PCPs aren't even that powerful. Let's try it. Okay. Eight oh five. Yeah, that's that's really impressive, actually. Eighteen grains. I mean, my my precharged pneumatics, at least most of them, don't go quite that fast. So the lighter rounds do. These eighteen to fourteen. I don't think we're breaking the sound barrier, but I bet we'll get that will get nine hundred out of it. Maybe nine between nine hundred and nine fifty is my bet. 875, okay. Maybe not. Ugh. Nine twenty four, okay, there we go. And nine hundred thirty foot pounds. Okay. Last three of the alloys. Any takers whether it's gonna break the sound bearer? Ooh, that's a tough one. Tell you what. Leave a message in the comments if you think these are these Gamo uh, Platinum Pellets in 22 will break the sound barrier out of this rifle. Let's see. Ah. Wow, that was loud. 11, 1161? Holy smokes. Is that a brake barrel? Okay. 1169? Ah. And 1169 again. Holy smokes. That's crazy. So can a brake barrel air rifle break the sound barrier? Yeah. I guess it can, even the cheap one can, provided you put the right pellet in it.
Okay, a little bonus for you guys. I mentioned that most of my PCPs can't uh, break the sound barrier, but uh, one can. That's a human K1. I've got it, uh, I got uh, 15 uh, megapascals on the regulator here. That isn't quite full power. It's uh, kind of midway between, so that's about mid power. And I got my power wheel turned out 40 turns. Uh, I got 14.3 grain Crosman uh, dome pellets in it. I've actually never figured out how fast this thing actually goes. So, uh, let's see. Woohoo! 12.24. Okay, I had to stop shooting before my uh, neighbors get irritated at me.